In this video, I'm going to teach you a technique that I use multiple times a day to stay joyfully productive. I call this technique my energy reboot. Okay, and as I teach it to you, I'm going to ask you to modify this. I mean, you could use it just as I teach it, but really, as, you, as I talk about it, see what parts of it you want to completely use the same way or what parts of it you can imagine yourself modifying so that it's an even better fit for you. So um, as any good teacher would, let me start with the why, the reasons why this is important, okay? Um, first of all, we all reboot our energy every day. When you sleep, after you sleep, you've rebooted your energy so that you can face the next day uh, rather than pulling an all-nighter and continuing on, right? Um, you also reboot your energy when you eat. Okay, you had low energy, you eat, now you have energy again. Uh, you may reboot when you go out for a walk or do some movement, okay? You, can, you might reboot by listening to music or putting on a candle or, or aromatherapy or maybe doing some spiritual practice like prayer. I mean, these are all rebooting your energy. But I'm talking about what if you could do something quickly, many times during your working day, so that whenever you're facing a difficult project, you know, whenever you're, you're feeling in a funk uh, while you're trying to create some work, that you can change that, transform that. And now, instead of being in a funk and procrastinating, you can now get back and, and do the work. I mean, as, as an example, before I made this video, I was feeling some fear, um, making videos, uh, do I have to be perfect? Do I, might I say the wrong thing? Um, you know, all the logistical challenges of making a video. Uh, and then I did my energy reboot and then I said, okay, let's just go for it, right? So energy reboot is effective for getting out of a funk and, and also getting unstuck from any difficult project. Typically, when we're stuck in a project, it's not really because of the technical challenges or the logistical challenges of the project. Let me tell you why typically we're stuck. We're typically stuck because we're emotionally stuck, okay? We need an energy reboot because if we had enough energy, we would figure out a way through and and get unstuck. Your, your, your emotions will power your mind, which will then get you unstuck from any project. So really it starts with an energy reboot. Your emotions have to be uplifted and then your mind will, will work to it. And of course, you might say that the mind has to, has to almost command the emotions or, or to, to take the initiative to say, let's do an energy reboot and then your emotions will open up and be liberated to be creative and then that will again work with your mind to get unstuck in any project. I also love doing energy reboots because it's a practical way to use mindfulness in work every day. It's a practical mindfulness. And finally, the, re the, the reason to do an energy reboot is because we spend most of our waking hours working okay, or a lot of our waking hours are spent working. Um, and if you are waiting for the evenings and weekends to enjoy life, to live your life, you're wasting so much of your life. Why not work with joy? Why not work in a high spirit? That is a lot of your life. So Energy Reboot is to live your life even as you work, okay? To have fun even as you work. So here it is, here's the technique. I'm gonna teach you a quick energy reboot first, and then I'll give you some ideas for a longer one. So let's start with a quick one, and as I teach this, think about how you might use this, or how you might modify it to work even better for you. So, so I do this multiple times a day, and it only takes one minute for the short version. And so um, what I do is, when I'm about to come to work or when I'm stuck in a project or after lunch and I'm getting back to work or after a nap and I'm getting back to work or after a call and I need to work on a project, this is what I do. I first hold my heart, okay, and I take some intentional breaths. As I breathe in, I imagine and, and think 
oftentimes I think of the word love. So what I'm imagining as I breathe in is I'm imagining that the molecules in the universe are really all molecules made of love and light. And I sincerely believe that on some spiritual level that's true and one day our physical instruments, our physics, will perhaps discover through quantum, the, advanced, the next stage of quantum physics or whatever may discover that actually, yes, all the molecules, nano, whatever, the most base molecules of reality are literally light and even love. I mean, I know our physical instruments cannot sense that quite yet, but one day I think it, it might be subtle enough to, to do it. So I, as I breathe in, I breathe in love, like literally, okay, into my body, and then I breathe out, and these are long breaths, breathe in love, and I breathe out total security. Total security as I breathe this out. And what I mean by this is I imagine, and I believe this is true, I believe this is true for me, and I believe this is true for you, that we live in a universe where our souls, our consciousness, the eternity of our existence is totally secure, and not only that, but your destiny is one of ultimate, complete bliss and creativity and love and wisdom and positive power and joy, okay? So in other words, our destiny has total security and the reality of our consciousness, even if the body dies, the consciousness lives on, there's total security in our destiny and we are completely loved beyond, beyond our imagination. So there's total security in the reality of life, okay? No matter what happens in this illusion of this third dimension reality. So that's what I breathe out. I breathe in love, I breathe out total security. Again, I've only taken two breaths up to now. And if I feel like I need to, I'll do another repetition of that, breathing in love and breathing out total security. And then next, and again, this is only you know, 20 seconds in. Next, I breathe in um, uh, guidance and I breathe out gratefulness. Guidance meaning every moment of our day, I believe we are being guided by higher power. It's just that most of the time we do not listen and we are not sensitive and subtle enough in our consciousness to understand that guidance but we are being guided and and uh, sometimes that guidance is louder and sometimes the guidance is softer but we are always being guided and and literally I think fit um, the reality of our life through the, our ups and downs and through the many paths we take I believe we are being forced or guided to our highest destiny even though it might not seem like it when we look back on our life at the very end in the life review we will see that there was a power that was guiding us along even when we made mistakes. So I breathe in guidance and I breathe out gratefulness. Like, oh, I'm so grateful that that's the reality. And as I take my next steps in this next hour or in the next half hour, I also will be guided. And I ask for that guidance. And I pray for sensitivity to that guidance of gratefulness for the, the privilege of living this life in a guided way. You too are in that state if you are willing to. Uh, acknowledge that okay so again this is now about 30 seconds into my energy reboot right and then final 20 to 30 seconds I basically um, I, I envision what I'm going to do my purpose for the next hour okay and before my next energy reboot or for the next half hour before my next uh, often nowadays I'm trying to do my energy reboots every half hour but really when you start doing this even if you do it two, three times a day, it's better than not, right? So even if it's every three to four hours, it's better than not doing it. But eventually, see if you can get to doing it every hour perhaps, maybe even eventually every half an hour. So what am I doing in the next hour or the next half hour that will be serving my higher purpose while getting the stuff done that I need to get done in my life? Okay, so what is my purpose? And I envision myself doing that task and enjoying that task. So that's a full minute, that's it. I invite you to try this out or modify it for yourself and see how that works for you. Okay, um, uh, it's 
changed my life and it's changed the way that I work. Uh, I'm able to work with, um, even though I still experience fear in my work like any, anybody does, doing new things, doing things that might be scary, making a video that nobody might appreciate or like, you know, I'm a human being. Right, just like you and I feel fear, I feel procrastination sometimes, I feel confusion, frustration, sometimes anger, sometimes sadness. I'm a human being. But with this energy reboot, I'm able to recover much more quickly and much more often. Okay, and I promised you also a longer reboot. I'll just quickly mention a few elements that you could add to an occasional longer reboot, which is movement Okay, and self-care. So movement is if you're doing that one minute of energy reboot I just talked about and you have a few more minutes that you want to do a more serious reboot, then do some movement, whether it's um, stretching, stretching all aspects, you know, all ways of doing stretching. Sometimes I even do kicks, like kicks, you know, make sure that I'm not going to kick anything around me, but I do some kicks to stretch my legs uh, and, and uh, stretch my body. Um, and I'll do some kind of stretches um, that I had learned early on from Aikido when I was doing Aikido a little bit, you know, I'm stretching this part now and stretching this part and then stretching this part. Okay. Okay. Like this also stretch, stretching. Um, and then, uh, or some other, another type of movement is dancing. Dancing is so good for us. If you just go online and search, uh, how is dancing good for health? There's health benefits to your heart. There's benefits to your brain from dancing. Uh, there's benefits, of course, to your spirit and your joy and your emotion. So dancing is a great way. Put on some music, uh, do a more serious reboot by dancing. Um, and then self-care. Now, two quick ways of self-care is if you are like me and work a lot at the computer, then one way of self-care is to, is to do some eye, self-care for your eyes. So um, rub your hands until they're a bit warm or, or just make your hands a bit warm. And then palm your eyes gently. Don't push your eyes, but just lay your hands gently on your eyes and relax your eyes physically. Just you know, consciously relax your eyes and try to see, um, make it as dark as possible. And this will take care of your eyes. If you just do this even for 30 seconds, gently, again, your hands on your eyes, very gently. Don't press anything except press your, you can press your skull, but not your eyes itself. That will help the longevity of your eyesight. And there are, uh, there are many eye exercises you could do. Uh, I'm not going to talk about it here, but you can do an online search for simple eye exercises. And uh, I do that when I do a more longer reboot occasionally. Um, and then another way of self-care is to get a drink of tea or coffee or water or whatever healthy beverage you, you drink. Uh, a lot of times we forget to do that as we're intensely working. So that's a good... Um, thing to put on your checklist for a longer more serious energy reboot is to remember to get a get a get a healthy beverage and also and um, uh, also you may need to get a snack if you haven't eaten in a couple of hours uh, because if you are hungry or you're low in the blood sugar you tend to make decisions that are not as wise so that's another way of self-care and finally another way of self-care is you may need to uh, if you've been working for a while, you may need to take a nap if a naps are helpful for you, okay? I know it's helpful for me. It's not helpful for everyone. My wife, uh, it doesn't really, I mean, when she takes a nap, she needs to take like a 90-minute nap whereas uh, before she can feel fine again. Whereas for me, I very um, effective for me just to even take a 10-minute nap. So just different body types, right? So see if that works for you. So I hope that helps. Um, I'd love to hear from you um, in the comments of this video if, if that helped. Uh, if you're going to do energy reboots, start trying that every couple of hours or even every hour if you want to do this. Um, uh, and uh, oh, and if you have a smartphone and you download apps, there are apps that will remind you, um, sometimes randomly and sometimes in, in specific uh, intervals. Um, just like a, a chime will come on, on on your phone and you could set the reminders to happen only during certain hours and during only on certain days. I'll try to uh, remember to put some links in the notes of this video um, for a couple of apps that you might want to download to remind you to do your energy reboot. Or you can, you can 
connect your energy reboot to, you know, at the beginning of each hour or at the beginning of every three hours or something like 9 a.m., 12 p.m., 3 p.m. kind of thing. So try to find a way to remind yourself in a natural way to do your energy reboot. So I look forward to hearing your comments. Was this useful for you? How are you going to do your reboot? If you're going to modify what I did or are you going to do it the same way? And if you have something else you do that helps you reboot your energy that you want to share in the comments, I'd love to see it and I, I'm sure it'll help other people as well.